Hey everybody, my name is Gazy. Welcome to my little corner of YouTube uh, called the Outlet Podcast. Podcast? Why? You're doing a vlog. Well, yeah, actually I'm on two fronts right now. I have my audio content where I'm playing acoustic sessions and I'm doing it on my video stuff. Check it out. But uh, I have acoustic sessions that I do on my um, uh, audio podcast, Outlet Podcast. And you can listen to that and a lot more stuff. I talk about comic books, life, uh, s what's in the news, movies, things that I'm feeling, things that I'm kind of going through that I want to share with the community. Uh, you can find me on iTunes, if you're an Apple person, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and Blueberry. So y listen any way you can. It's be It'll be fun. I really like to get to know what you think. So here on YouTube, I got a number of things going on. I'm about to record a uh, episode of the book club where I discuss uh, the narrative uh, life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. I'm about to record an episode because uh, uh, we. I also am in charge of doing a little book club where we talk about two books, this one and The Diary of a Young Girl, Anne Frank. We got that going on. Got some comic book stuff, which I, I really do love comic books, you guys. It's just a, it's like a sincere, innocent life. You know, superheroes. I always loved superheroes when I was a kid. So uh, we got that going on. And my solely and holy vlogs where I just talk about things related to my faith as a Christian. So a lot of stuff. And I really thank you for watching uh, up to this point. So I, it's really nice knowing that there's a community of people out there who just like to see other people and get the uh, like that human fellowship thing. We have that human that necessity for a relationship. So if you're you know, since you're watching, God bless. Take care. I hope you're doing good. Let me know in the comments um, right now in this Q&A of the about face episode number four. Wham! About face. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I answer um, a series of questions. So I got a random number generator from uh, numbers 1 to 50. And I got uh, 50 questions that I found online. So, ooh, that was creepy. Uh, I'm going to answer 50, uh, two questions on this episode. So ep question number 11. What is the strangest thing you believed as a child? So I, okay, as a as a Christian, I was a kid, uh, I s and I was a born again Christian when I was a kid. So there was the things that I believed in that you might not believe in, but things that I believed in as far as you know, heaven, hell, God, the devil, angels, demons. Um, you know, demons are fallen angels. If you want to talk, I, I, you know, we can talk about that, but. Uh, things that I believed in afterlife, eternity, um, you know, I believe in, you know, a number of things like that. Uh, it's regarding my faith. But one of the most irrational things, if not the most irrational thing that I ever think I really believed in, it wasn't Santa Claus. Santa Claus was a good dude. If you're related via like actually that dude, St. Nicholas or Nicholas, that dude, if you're related to him, Mad props. That is really cool. But, uh, I, you know, I knew he was a person after, like, a couple, like, I don't know, when I was, like, 15 or something. But when I was a kid, every Hispanic kid can testify. If you're Hispanic, if you were a Hispanic kid, like, 20-something, or even, I hope, maybe 11-year-olds, too. El Cucuy. Do you know? Okay. If you're white, if you're black, like, you don't know about El Cucuy. Uh... I can't even describe what El Cucuy is to you all because as a Hispanic guy, I never seen him. I have never seen El Cucuy, but he was this he was the he was a Hispanic monster. Let me tell you, sometimes if we if me and my sister stayed up way too late at night, what would happen? All of a sudden, I'd hear my dad, El Cucuy's gonna get you, and I'm like. I'm like freaking out because El Cucuy, a monster I've never seen, was going to chase was chasing me. He was kind enough to let me turn off the TV before I could run upstairs. But yeah, like this monster was the 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 bane of all Hispanic youth, yo. So yeah, we would me and my sisters would run upstairs 
scared as all get out. And we would feel the fear on our ankles, even though we'd look back and we'd see nothing. But it was the fear. Of, oh, you said you like the fear, the fear, the fear, yeah. <laughs> the fear of like it possibly getting you and taking you to the living room. That's what El Kukui would do. Um, so that's that was my mo the most irrational. Thing I believed in as a kid. Um, yeah, because after a while, I stayed downstairs while all my family was upstairs, lowered the TV, and ca and I started watching Adult Swim on Cartoon Network. And I started watching uh, Cowboy Bebop, um, Trigun, watching Full Metal Alchemist, watching, not like Squid Billies wasn't at the time, but Space Ghost Coast to Coast was awesome. I loved Space Ghost. And there was a couple other like, uh, cartoon stuff that Cartoon Network used to do at night, so it was awesome. My my youth was like really cool. So that's number eleven on my list. So I also let me do here. Okay, twenty four. Twenty four. What's a strange occurrence you've experienced but have never have never or rarely shared with anyone? So. I shared this on an episode of my podcast where it's called a spark plug on my spark plug episodes for the outlet podcast. All, it's all audio content on one of the spark plug episodes. What I did was that I was talking about sleep paralysis and sleep paralysis. It's very weird. I that's what the scientific community um, talks about. I, it can't really describe it. The scientific community can't really describe it. I can rarely describe it because um, you're awake, but you can't breathe and you have no need to. And you're fully conscious. It's the weirdest thing. And it's happened to me and to a couple other of my friends. It happened. And as a, um, it's been weird because uh, sometimes you, I would feel you would I would feel um, pressure on my body, but it was like ev it was like evil, like bad, like scary stuff. And it, I would be like, I feel it on my neck. One time, I kind of felt like a claw shaped hand on the back of my head, and like kind of pushing my head into the pillow. And it was very scary, very weird. But even when it went, even when it was like very scary and weird, I remember that every time I would call and say the name on the name of Jesus, you know, of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that fear would subside and I would regain my consciousness in my body and I'd wake up and I'd be scared. I think I cried a couple of times, too. But, um, yeah, uh, sleep paralysis. Uh, look it up. Don't look at the images. The imagery, I, I looked up some of the images online when I was trying to do some research um, for that episode of the uh, where we talked about sleep paralysis. Um, I looked up some inf uh, some images, and it's pretty scary stuff. There's It goes back, there's a history. It's not just me uh, talking about it. Th there are people that talk about it way back then, and uh, I can't describe it. Um, I just I would recommend that if it has if it's happening to you, just, you know, it, what worked for me is calling on the name of Jesus, man. Just saying asking Jesus to have mercy to save you. That's what has helped me. And um, yeah, so like that's what happened to me. Uh, the, the strange occurrence when I was a, uh, the strangest thing I believed in and also the strangest occurrence that happened to me that I rarely shared. So this one was an eerie episode of the uh, outlet podcast uh, Q&A, but it's these are questions that I pulled up. And so I want to answer them and share them with you. So you guys, like I said, you can find me on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio and Blueberry. Also find me on Facebook.com backslash outlet podcast. Go there. Go there and like the page and share it with your friends. Uh, I'm also on iTunes. Uh, well, I already said that. 
on uh, Twitter at Outlet Podcast. And where else? I got a blog going on uh, outletpodcast.wordpress.com. So all of that, if you're wa- since you're watching on YouTube, uh, like and comment. Tell me what uh, scary things that you've experienced and that you haven't shared with anybody. And let me know. So, you guys, this has been the Outlet Podcast. My name is Gazy. Connect and recharge.